Chapter 1043 Begins Kaido swings his weapon down striking Luffy. With great force Luffy is sent flying to the ground unconscious. CP0 agents watch the fight. Unfold Momonosuke notices Luffy lying motionless on the ground. And says I do not hear Luffy's voice anymore Kaido stands next to Luffy. Observing him closely suddenly something comes out of Luffy's mouth catching Kaido's attention. Kaido turns to the CP0 agent and says so you are prepared for what happens next. Luffy lies on the ground motionless. While the CP0 agent stands nearby Kaido raises his weapon in the air and a massive blast erupts from the top of the roof the scene shifts to the inside of the building where people are fighting an observer points out look Kawamatsu the ceiling is going to collapse Kawamatsu runs away from the fire and cries out there are still thousands of our comrades inside the building we are up in the sky there is no war to hear. Another person responds there is nothing we can do to stop this conflagration I beg you leap out of there there is no glory in being burned to death the fire engulfs the building shocking everyone present suddenly Kaido appears in the main hall where everyone is gathered Kaido exclaims where is your leader I must have Momonosuke surrender straw hat Luffy is dead if anyone else wishes to challenge me step forward Captain Kidd remarks it was a short-lived dream Law says this is cold brutal reality there is nothing left to talk about Chopper begins to cry and exclaims Luffy has lost to Kaido. The Animal Kingdom pirates laugh and shout yeah he did it. Master Kaido is utterly victorious. The samurai shout back. That is a lie. The man in the straw hat is not dead. Law turns to Captain Kidd and says. Straw hat's voice has vanished. Nami says there is no way Luffy lost. Of course Dot is not dead. That's ridiculous Kaido responds and says, well at least one of you has some moxie. Pirates down below shout back you are a liar. We don't believe you Kaido breathes fire and throws a fire blast towards the pirates. Marco the Phoenix jumps in and stops Kaido's attack. Furiously shouting don't lose your composure not before it's all over. Kaido shouts Onigashima will soon land upon the flower capital as originally planned unlike Orokai I am no pushover. Kaido threatens everyone declaring that they will become his slaves. He shouts you dared to fight back against me and you have earned my wrath people are terrified and cry out. This is what it means to lose a war the cost of your defeat. Is your freedom and your hope. Kaido is furious and raging. He shouts. Bring Momonosuke to me the battle is not over until I deal with him, point one of beast pirates says hey. Now it's our chance to take down Kid and Law. They're both on death's door. Law and Kid were struggling hard as they just defeated Big Mom. The pirates attacked them by saying you might have beaten Big Mom. But Kaido is always the ultimate adversary. Hard pirates and kid pirates jumped in and said, protect the captains, dot meanwhile the samurai were escaping from the fire and people were saying there's nothing except flames and fire. Search for an exit. Kids said to Law, I am gonna fight, no surrender no going out without a pee. Law replied damn it straw hat. In another scene Momonosuke said to Yamato that, he cannot fight Kaido, dot as Luffy lost so how can he win? But Yamato says you have to fight even if it means death. And she said, that Kaido is already beaten up, Momonosuke disagreed. And said that, only more people will die. Luffy has already lost and they can now only surrender. Yamato stated that she is not going to let Momonosuke do that. Because surrender is not an option. She added this is what the daimyo from all over Wano did when. They risked their lives fighting back against Orokai. The last 20 years of Wano is riding upon this battle. If you're going to let it go to waste, then let's face death together. Dot, Momonosuke was stunned, and the samurais continued fighting, while Yamato was damn serious. At the same time Kaido was raging and continuously throwing fire blasts. The scene then shifts to the rooftop of Onigashima, where Luffy was unconscious, laid on the ground dot then suddenly from the riverside. Zunisha the giant elephant appears. 
and says, Momanasukai. Can hear it, how long has it been Momanasuk asked? What is it Zunisha? Then Zunisha replied, I hear the drums of liberation for the first time in 800 years, dot he is here dot Zunisha was seen with red eyes. And said, Joy Boy has returned, dot Luffy was shown smiling. While he was on the ground. And the chapter ends before going don't forget to subscribe.